Hello and welcome to Research Pod. Thank you for listening and joining us today. In this episode, we will be looking at the work of Tony Marshall and his corporations Diverse Horizons Inc. and the Diverse Horizons Foundation. Current global issues such as climate change, social inequalities and environmental breakdowns are borderless, meaning no country can tackle them alone. International collaboration will be essential in mitigating some of the worst effects of these pervasive issues. The problems we, the global community, face will also take vocational training and a vast retraining of the workforce to ensure we have the green skills and knowledge to drive environmental sustainability and social equality. Moreover, the opportunities for training and education must be fully inclusive and available to all. In recent years, global and national forces have been attempting to find resolutions for these issues through a series of global goals for sustainable development. On an international level, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Agreement have been essential in furthering the global community's shared endeavour towards a greener future. And from a national perspective, each nation has its own means of accountability to usher in their versions of sustainability and equality. In the United States of America, for example, the Green New Deal and Build Back Better congressional bills are intended to invest in fair and equitable environmental as well as social regeneration. Mr. Tony Marshall, the founder, president and CEO, aims to build on these sustainable development goals by initiating global and eventually interplanetary facilities for educational, entrepreneurial and athletic collaboration, as well as international and intercultural collaboration. Diverse Horizons facilities will be hubs that assist in setting up systems for collaborative, progressive education, where citizens of all backgrounds will have access to learning and can participate in STEM, sports, recreation and the arts, as these are the subjects that are mostly universally communicated across communities globally. Mr Marshall has been developing his corporations and conducting relevant research in the fields of education, urban planning and design, business and sustainability for decades. His work, specifically in furthering environmental curricula and pedagogy and in social enterprises for sustainability, makes him uniquely positioned to understand the need for educational community facilities. With his research on the role of social enterprises in urban sustainability, Marshall saw the propensity of collaboration to maximise the socio-economic benefit for citizens especially those of minority ethnic or low socioeconomic backgrounds. And, through his work on improving environmental curricula, societal empathy and general pedagogy, he discovered the potential effects of environmental education and big data. Through the diverse avenues of his research, it is possible to see the wealth of knowledge and insight that Marshall brings into his corporations. He believes that through diverse horizons, he can find the confluence of his research and bring together social equity, pedagogy and environmental sustainability education with vocational education and athletics. This will maximise the socio-economic prospects of a community and the global society at large. The Diverse Horizons Project is one answer to a series of global crises for which a collaborative, shared global vision is needed. Although Diverse Horizons has its origins in the US, the possibility of manifesting its very first facility into existence sprouted wings in South Korea through the conduit of a case study. However, Mr. Marshall's broader plans include introducing multiple interconnected Diverse Horizons facilities in each of the 4,419 cities across the world. He also plans to have Diverse Horizons facilities 
considered by spacefaring entities such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and NASA as part of establishing lunar and interplanetary colonies. Previous results and future goals that Mr Marshall's corporations want to promote are encompassed by three fundamental ideologies which combine to equal the total person. The development of mind through STEM, body through athletics and soul through the arts. The Diverse Horizons concept is to produce customised community-based educational facilities with a globally as well as interplanetary focus curriculum which will be repeatedly iterated through collaboration with other strategically placed Diverse Horizons facilities. Furthermore, these facilities will be customised to be architecturally compatible yet unique to a local area, all functioning within the Diverse Horizons network. Each facility is intended to feature approximately 130 vocational classes with adequate recreational facilities for both elite and amateur athletes, all strategically designed within a 50-acre state-of-the-art facility. Within each facility, citizens will learn with prototype educational software, tools, supplies and gaming developed under the Diverse Horizons corporate umbrella, along with other related marketable products under the same corporate umbrella. The first two Diverse Horizons facilities are hoped to be set up on the Korean peninsula, one in the north and one in the south. The aim is that it will contribute to collaboration among the disparate countries and bring shared environmental knowledge and societal empathy through jointly developed curricula and pedagogy, teaching a series of vocational skills that lift citizens of both nations out of poverty. Hopefully, a project such as this can contribute to peace between the two belligerent nations. Mr Marshall's next area of development is expected to be in his home nation of the USA, working in harmony with the strong progressive infrastructure bills President Joe Biden and his administration has embarked on, such as the Build Back Better Bill. He hopes to have interconnected facilities accessible to all, incorporating diverse Horizons facilities into the Opportunity Zones created by Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina as an option. The key goal of a diverse Horizons facility is to create a globally harmonised community which will contribute to social equality and environmental sustainability. To that end, the first case study facility is being developed in Anyang, South Korea. A case study to serve as proof of concept and to be the first of a global and eventually interplanetary network of diverse Horizons facilities has been running in Anyang, South Korea since 2016. The Anyang facility takes a unique approach to advancing societal progress by establishing a 50-acre facility which helps to tackle community issues including education, unemployment and environmental awareness. The case study facility will act as a model for the education system that will be ubiquitous among all diverse Horizons facilities, offering education for citizens from preschool to senior citizens on environmental sustainability and social equality through a revolutionary curriculum at a revolutionary facility. The curriculum will train and retrain the local community in vocational education for future green jobs. Additionally, the facility will act as a centre for community cohesion, connecting the school system to the broader community through vocational training, collaboration with local businesses and various athletic and recreation programmes, as well as programmes in the arts. By utilising influences of European, African and Asian descent, inclusive of multiracial and multicultural influences as well, Mr Marshall is attempting to embark on pioneering the world. By implementing Diverse Horizons globally, he hopes to collaboratively bring a globally connected network of community facilities that drive global sustainable development goals with green vocational learning, arts education and recreation. 
The many struggles humanity is facing demand a visionary and cohesive effort to remedy. The Diverse Horizons culture is centred on sharing cultural, scientific and spiritual lessons from governments, educational organisations and investors on a global scale through local establishments. It seeks nothing less than to create a new paradigm by utilising modern tools such as the internet and big data from the fourth industrial revolution to connect our global community and usher in a new wave of ideologies and innovation. Mr Marshall is currently seeking investors and supporters to join him in his unique endeavour and would like the opportunity to collaborate, not compete, with other corporations and non-profits to meet common goals of environmental sustainability and social equality. That's all for this episode. Thanks for listening. And stay subscribed to ResearchPod for more of the latest science. See you again soon.